Mandy. Uh, oh, hey, Will. hi, Mandy. All right, if I join sure. you? Sure, take a seat. Thanks. You're really engrossed in that paper. What are you reading about? Actually, something you might be interested in, from your perspective as a school nurse. It's a story about the flu. I didn't realize how many people get the flu every year and how serious it can be for some people. <laughs> yeah, the flu isn't just nothing. People really should learn what to do to prevent getting the flu and prevent spreading it around to others. Actually, I'm uh, giving a talk to the staff on Friday about the flu. Yeah, I got that announcement on email. Are you ready? I know all the topics I want to cover, but I haven't finished all my plans yet. One part I'm struggling with is how to explain that the flu is spread by different influenza viruses. Do you have a good idea about how to explain what a virus is? Hey, I'm a math teacher. You're the nurse. But you always explain things so clearly. I really admire that. Well, you can explain that a virus is like a germ and so tiny you can't even see it with a microscope. It gets into people's bodies usually through breathing it in or having virus on their hands and then touching their nose or their mouth. And once inside your body, the virus spreads and can cause infections and illnesses. Hmm, that's good. Very clear. And the flu that many people get in the fall and winter each year is caused by that flu virus. Well, there's not just one flu virus. There are many. Really? I thought there was only one. Oh, no. Uh, there are different viruses. And the viruses change every year. That's why the seasonal flu vaccine changes every year. Seasonal? Ah, uh, yes. That word refers to the major flu outbreaks that tend to occur between fall and winter. The annual flu season. And the flu vaccine is different every year? Yes, usually. Scientists research which flu viruses are spreading and which are most likely to cause illness the next flu season. Then the vaccine is updated each year so that they fight the most recent flu viruses. Wow, that's amazing. I didn't realize that the science and making of flu vaccines was so complicated. It is. Scientists work hard to be sure that the flu vaccine will be as effective as possible for each flu season. And that's why it's so important to get a flu vaccination every year, even if you had one last year. A new vaccination every year because the flu viruses can be different every year. Interesting. Makes sense. Hey, I heard some people say they don't want to get a flu vaccine because the vaccine itself might cause them to become sick with the flu. Is that true? No, a flu vaccination cannot give you the flu. That's a false rumor that many people unfortunately believe. It's too bad because people who avoid getting a flu vaccination are actually increasing their risk of getting the flu. I see, but I heard some people don't feel well after getting their yearly flu vaccine. Oh, that's different. Sometimes the flu shot makes the person's upper arm feel a little sore, or they develop a slight fever or muscle aches, but that goes away in about two days. No one gets the flu because of the flu vaccination. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> You're asking a lot of great questions. I'll be sure to add these points to my flu presentation. The important thing I want the audience to remember is that getting a flu vaccine every year is the best way to protect yourself from getting the flu. The newspaper story here says that complications from the flu lead to an average of about 36,000 deaths in the United States every year. 
I didn't know that. Right? Sad. And every year, about 200,000 people sick with the flu are hospitalized. That's why this meeting Friday is so important, to help people learn what to do to prevent getting the flu, what to do if they get sick, and how they can prevent the flu from spreading. This newspaper story says the flu is more dangerous for young children and older people. Right. Everyone should get vaccinated against the flu each year. But the flu is more dangerous for children younger than five and people 65 years and older. Also, it is more dangerous for pregnant women and people with certain chronic health problems like heart disease, asthma, and other breathing diseases. It's especially important for people in those groups to get vaccinated. What else does the newspaper story say? It lists some everyday things you can do to help prevent getting the flu and other infections. You know, like washing your hands often and things like that. Are you going to talk about those? Yes, I'll discuss those everyday things. You don't want to cough or sneeze out in the open. You want to prevent the spread of germs. So you should cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze or use your sleeve like this. Also, touching your nose, eyes, or mouth will spread germs. You don't want that. So you should wash your hands often, which helps prevent many different illnesses. But to prevent the flu, the best thing to do is get vaccinated. Understood. Boy, this story really emphasizes that people should get a flu vaccination every year. Yes. That's because of what we talked about before. You know, that every year there may be different flu viruses, so there is a different vaccine every year. That's why it's very important to get a flu vaccination every year. It also mentions that in addition to the flu vaccination we've had for a while, there's now a nasal spray vaccine to prevent the flu. That's interesting. If a person gets the nasal spray vaccine, is there a chance that they could get the flu from that? No, neither the nasal spray flu vaccine nor the flu shot can cause the flu. Some people experience minor problems from the nasal spray flu vaccine, like runny nose stuffy nose, cough, headache, sore throat, or feeling cold or tired, but those things go away in a short time. And getting the flu would be a lot worse. Well, I don't mind the flu vaccination, you know, because I get mine every year from you, just like the rest of the school staff. Hey, if I didn't work here, where would be a good place to get my annual flu vaccination or the nasal spray vaccine? Oh, lots of places offer flu vaccines, uh, doctor's offices, special flu clinics, <laughs> not just school nurses. Anything else interesting in that newspaper story? Well, recommendations from the CDC, you know, the governmental agency, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. It says the CDC recommends three steps to protect against the flu. Ah, uh, the three steps. I know those. You do? Let's test you. What's step one? Getting vaccinated every year. Mm, pass. Step two? Doing the everyday prevention things we talked about, like hand washing and staying home if you're sick. Right again. And step three? Oh, I know. Uh, if your doctor prescribes antiviral medication for you. Follow the doctor's instructions closely. You get an A. What are antiviral medicines? Antiviral medicines are medicines that can make you feel better faster if you get sick with the flu. You can take antiviral medicines in different ways. 
It comes as a pill, a liquid, or a medicine that you inhale. Where do you get the medicine? From a doctor. Usually people who are sickest from the flu or who are at high risk of severe flu. These people are given antiviral medicines. Like kids five and younger and people 65 years and older? Right, and people with heart or breathing illnesses or diabetes, or anyone who gets very sick with the flu. Suppose someone is between ages 6 and 65. How do they know if they should ask a doctor about antiviral medicines? Mm, good point. Uh, people who have high-risk medical conditions, or women who are pregnant, or people who have a more severe flu or are not getting any better should see a doctor right away. The doctor might give them antiviral medicines. I didn't realize there was a medicine that could help treat the flu. I thought you just had to tough it out. The antiviral medicines are great for some people, but getting a flu vaccine every year is still the most important step. It's better to prevent getting the flu than deal with the flu when you're already sick. Oh, definitely. Do you mind if I borrow that paper? I'd like to read more about the CDC recommendations. Okay? Sure. It lists some CDC websites with more information. Thanks. I'll check that out. And I'll make sure that everyone on Friday knows that you deserve the credit for helping me prepare. Exactly. <laughs>